Pixar's Turning Red has screened. Let's look at the reactions and also tell you how you can still see the movie in theaters if you so choose. Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. Thank you so much for being here. This is where we like to talk about movies, animation, and all that fun stuff. So anyway, let's talk about Turning Red a little bit. I've talked about Turning Red a few times, and judging by my responses, a lot of you really care about this movie. And probably, more importantly, you care about the fact that Disney decided pretty much um, on a very short-term notice to skip the theatrical release of this movie and send it straight to Disney Plus like they did with Luca and Soul. Now Soul is a little bit more understandable, you know, we had just gotten the vaccine, the pandemic was just starting to get under control. Luca was a lot less understandable because we had pretty much been under control. There was another surge, there was another surge because, you know, people aren't taking the proper precautions, but it wasn't as bad, or at least it wasn't bad enough to close things down again. And, well, there was really no justification for turning red. I mean, theaters are open, cases are down, things are great. Um, there's a new variant. I guess we'll have to see how that works out. But, yeah, things are going great. So people want to see it in theaters, and they can't. But there actually is one way that they still can, and we will talk about that later in this video. Before we do, though, if you like videos like this, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. Smash that like and leave a comment, and I thank you so much for doing so. So anyway, Turning Red has um, screened officially for critics and or select public members, and the response has been, I would say, largely positive. Uh, this is coming to us from Cinema Blend, who likes to collect tweets from people. Now, the first reaction is not great from Sean O'Connell, where he says, I'm not the target audience for Turning Red, like, at all. So it might work very well for you. It's sort of coming of age, but also about sexual awakening, puberty, teen wolf type family curses, boy bands. It's all over the place, more exhausting than entertainment. Sorry, than entertaining. So that seems like a really bad place to start, but then you go on and it just gets more and more positive. Like Tessa Smith says, I related so hard to Turning Red as a mom of girls and as a boy band fanatic. I get May, but I also get Ming. This is a heartwarming coming of age film about mothers and daughters growing up and embracing who you are. Beautiful in many ways. The end moved me to tears. You have Jazz Tanke, who I believe used to write for Awards Daily, said, Turning Red is pure joy and absolute fun. Thoroughly enjoyable, a wonderful story about puberty and parenting from Dami Shi with a catchy soundtrack to boot. Rosalie Shang is going to be a star. And you keep going, Michelle Lee, Turning Red is a visually stunning and emotional coming-of-age East meets West film that blends Pixar story through styles with anime influences. It's funny, heartfelt, honest, and not afraid to shy away from the messiness of growing up. I can't believe how much I laughed and cried. And um, we'll do one more. Laura says, did I mention boy band? This is me. This was my life. Like, am I dummy? Did we live the same life but different cities? Uh, let's see here. Let's give one more guy a chance. Simon said, Turning Red is inspired, a smart, sensitive allegory with heart, beautifully crafted design, bring the groundbreaking movie to life, and the cast reveals, sorry, revels, in a nuanced script that is tight, funny, and insightful. The third act is, Mwah! we can all learn from May's journey. Uh, by the way, uh, I would not be surprised if <laughs> discussions happened a little later on about, like, hey, you know how all these you know, comments are about how this is a wonderful movie for girls and women, and it's about, you know, it's about growing up as a teenage girl and going through the change, if you will. Uh, you know, we make guys movies about that for guys all the time, and those go to theaters, but the one about a girl, like one of the very few ones, that's going to get banned to streaming. Yeah, that, uh, optics are not good on that one. But anyway, yada yada, this movie's great. We we kind of assume it's going to be great. As long as it's not Cars 3, we assume everything's going to be great. Yeah, sure, sometimes it's wrong. I mean, you know, The Good Dinosaur wasn't exactly great. But we believe that it would be great. And of course, this decision to release it straight to streaming did not bode well. Pixar is very upset. 
as are many of the fans. But there actually is a way that a Pixar fan can still see this movie in theaters. And it's not going to be for many Pixar fans, so if this is you, you should definitely take the opportunity if you want to get the theatrical experience. But this is how you do it. So this is the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood. This is a movie theater that Disney actually owns. And uh, if I lived closer to this thing, I would be there all the time. As you can see, they're showing Remember the Titans right now, at least, or they're going to be as of the recording of this video. And soon they're going to be showing The Princess and the Frog and Moana. And so I have seen some Mulan. I have come here and rewatched certain favorite Disney movies on the big screen that I have not seen in years and I even got a chance to see some movies that I didn't get to see in theaters the original time around like <clears throat> Aladdin. No, not the Will Smith Aladdin, the animated Aladdin. Yeah, didn't get to see that in theaters as a kid. But yeah, I've come to this theater to see a goofy movie and Little Mermaid and you know that all these are things and it's a wonderful theater it's not cheap it's like $18 per ticket but there's like a show before it's got curtains it's a very fancy classic theater now you don't even see it on the website right now but if you have the email then you are in for a little bit of advantage see I got this email from El Capitan it's everything and here coming soon OMG Disney and Pixar's Turning Red will have a limited one-week engagement at the El Capitan Theater starting March 11th. Keep an eye on social for on-sale information. And yes, I am keeping a very heavy eye on this one because I absolutely want to see this in theaters. Now, some of you might be saying, well, wait a minute, why is this theater the only theater getting turning red in theaters well there's a few reasons for that first of all disney owns the theater so you know 100 percent the profits yada 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 uh but another reason is that if they want turning red to qualify for an oscar nomination they have to show it in a la or new york theater for at least one week and so even though it's basically been demoted and there's no other way to say it it has been demoted to a direct-to-video movie, they still want that Oscar cheddar because Disney owns that category otherwise. And they want to have as many contenders as possible. And they might even win, you know, I mean, Disney just wins that award. So they will put it in a theater to get it qualified and it's going to also be a promotional tool for Disney+. Plus. I don't know if any of you noticed looking at the El Capitan Theater, Disney Plus presents Mulan. Disney Plus presents Remember the Titans. Disney Plus presents The Princess and the Frog. Now, I take a little issue with this personally. Disney Plus is a new thing. These movies were not made to sell Disney Plus. Disney Plus was supported by these theatrical movies, but everything's all about Disney Plus now for this company as a result. They're basically using the El Capitan as a marketing tool for their Disney Plus service. I, I, always, I find that a little ironic, of course. Like, yeah, come to the theater, come to the very nice theater with this unique experience, and we're basically going to use it to sell you a product that encourages you to stay home. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it just That's just life, I suppose. But anyway, yeah, uh, this is where you will going you're going to have to see turning red in theater so obviously unless there's an easy way for you to get to hollywood this is not ideal this is very unideal i will be doing the absolute best i can to see it because i'm going to be honest there is a chance this will sell out there are enough disney and pixar fans that want to see some theaters that were upset about the move to disney plus that this could theoretically sell out so I've been keeping like a diligent eye every single day trying to get tickets. I'm probably not doing myself any favors pointing out that this is going to be coming to, you know, the El Capitan because it's just going to make it that much harder for me and my wife to get tickets to see this. Uh, by the way, I do not believe this will be in 3D. I think it's just going to be the 2D showing. Um, unfortunately, I think the 3D version is going to be lost to the Disney vault until 3D TVs make a little bit of a comeback. And they will, I think, they're going to come back at some point. They just need to figure out the glasses thing. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of the story. Um, if you, it looks like the movie's pretty good. 
And if you want to see this on the big screen, you have to go to this place. But anyway, that's where we are going to wrap this up. Tell me, um, are you going to try to see Turning Red at the El Capitan? Uh, if so, uh, hey, say hi if you happen to see me there. Um, we'll, we'll chat Disney for a few minutes. And for the rest of you, what do you think about this whole situation? I'd love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, play responsibly. Have a good one.